after this, going for the protein. Here we go, here we go. I hate that wild card. Like a plant. Oh. No bueno. Plantains. What? Got the plana. Ooh, this is where it's gonna get weird. What do you think of sweet and smoky? Okay. Oh no, we have to move one. Move, move one down. One down. That would mean you move one category, one down. What do you want, Chef? Tamagoyaki. I think that the tamagoyaki pan will lend itself easier to smokiness. I don't want leg of lamb. I want leg of lamb. Rock, paper, scissors. I say you go to rock, paper, scissors. Oh! All right. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Leg of lamb stays. Tamagoyaki pan comes down. Right. Okay. You feel good? No. Leg of lamb is delicious in three hours. It's terribly difficult to cook in 40 minutes. In this round, you have 40 minutes to prepare your delicious leg of lamb plantain tamagoyaki pan in a sweet and smoky style. Good luck. Go get them. Go for it. Leg of lamb. It's lean. I think it's awesome to work with. Plantains. You've got the sweet plantain that's usually cooked it makes a dessert or something on a plate and then you have the green plantain which because of how starchy it is almost like a bread or a cracker tamagoyaki pan is a non-stick rectangular japanese omelet pan sweet and smoky i mean we're talking about sticky candied honeyed sugar coated and smoky that is anything that parts that flavor of smoke you wait it's gonna be a good competition I've never been on this side before. I have to make a dish using leg of lamb, and it sucks. I love plantains. I grew up eating plantains, but not with lamb. And sweet and smoky for me is up my alley. In the south of Thailand, we make this very sweet, smoky curry with lamb. What's game plan here, chef? I'm going to do a, a lamb masaman curry. And I think I'm going to try to make a plantain cake in the tamago yaki pan as the starch. This is gonna be the biggest cook of my TOC career because man, it's never lost in this kitchen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lamb, grind that up, really happy with the randomizer. Lamb cooks really easily when you know how to handle it. When I think of sweet and smoky, you definitely don't wanna go overly sweet and you definitely don't wanna go overly smoky. You want a great balance. So today, I'm deciding to make a smoky jerk lamb skewer with a pineapple plantain puree and plantain chips. You're grinding the lamb? I am grinding the lamb, yes. Okay. The first thing I want to get started on are these lamb skewers. See a little sausage going into that as well? Yes. Or a little bacon? A little bacon. Smoke. Got it. And then I'm toasting all my spices in the tamago yaki pan. Coriander, cumin, black pepper. I grind that into my meat. Will have a bit of that smoky taste chip as well. Yeah. I mean, this is round three. I'm going up against Jet. He definitely knows how to bring on flavor. And he's a tough adversary, so I want to push myself to the limit. I'm joined in the arena by two of my favorite floor recorders. One only wild card, Justin Warner, and the roving food critic, Sir Simon Majundar. The two of them will sniff out the details of our chef's dishes so they can present them to our panel during the blind tasting. So I'm marinating my lamb in red miso, masaman curry paste, and yellow curry paste. All right, so all these three together are gonna really build flavor in the lamb. I need to get the smoky, so I add the pecan wood chips onto the grill, set them on fire, and I also add some plantains just to get some sweetness. That's gonna be hot. Plantain in that also, nice move. Got a little bit of char on that. So now that the lamb has char and smoke on it, it's going into that pressure cooker with some beef broth. With a pressure cooker, you have one shot to get tenderness right. You're literally gambling your entire dish on whether you can get your meat tender enough. And I'm praying for tenderness. All right, let's cap this thing. 28 and a half. So to get extra smoke, I want to grill that lamb. But that grill is hard to work with, you know? That's yeah. the only thing, like, once you scares it, yeah. trying to cook, you know, cook it on the grill is not gonna be easy. Oof. So I can't get the grates off of my grill. Yeah, I don't know about that. So I have to pivot. It's not what I wanted to do at all. Now that might not char, which is a smoke element. I am nervous. There's really no room for error. 
Next up, after defeating Mark Murphy, Chef Rick Brasigno takes on another New York great, Chef Amanda Freitag. And later, TOC2 champ Manit Chohan faces off against hard-charging DC chef Tobias Dorzon. Either you cook and win and move ahead, or you cook and lose and go home. Welcome back to TOC5, Chef Bay Lynn and Chef Jet Teeler in the middle of the Lamb and Plantain Showdown. Both have been to the final four, but one of them, well, this will be their final battle of TOC5. 25 minutes, 25 to go. I am making a smoky jerk lamb skewer, but it's not getting enough of a char, which is also another smoke element from the randomizer. I'm just gonna use a tamago yaki pan. I get some of that extra lamb and decided to make a patty with it. And I want to grill that lamb patty on that tabangiyaki pan. See how quick she pivots. She didn't like how they went on the skewers. Really smart. I'm running out of arms. So I have my lamb going in the pressure cooker, and now it's time to work on my curry. Curry is one of the most difficult Asian dishes to make because it balances so many techniques. Curry is an art on its own, and another reason I'm doing it, because I grew up making curry, and I know I can execute this in 40 minutes. Smoking gun, good idea. I put some mesquite chips into the smoking gun, and I try to infuse mesquite smoke into that curry. I like the choice of the wood there, guy, mesquite. You know, mesquite, I think, can be a little harsh, a little aggressive. Yep, when you're going up against that spice in that coconut milk, boom. Chefs, we've got 15 minutes, 15 left to be played in. The tamago yaki pan is definitely doing the trick. My patties are nicely charred. Doing good, Chef. Yeah. Char is a subtle, smoky flavor, and I chose to char instead of adding aggressive smoke flavor. The lamb also rendered some amazing smoky lamb bacon fat. So I decided I want to do a rice to mix in with the smoky lamb fat. So what is going to happen now? I'm going to make the puree. I get some habaneros as well as the sweet and ripe plantains and get them charring on that tabangiyaki pan. What else is going in there? Pineapple. Persuina. May is so diverse with her mm -hmm. cooking. She's undefeated. Yeah. yeah. She's never lost in this kitchen. And then this is a big deal for Jet, too, because Jet lost to May last, last year, year in round four. All right. Huh? I got to pull lamb and pray. The lamb is coming out of the pressure cooker. Okay. So we're going to know in a second yeah. if his lamb is soft. How, how tender are you? Just enough. It is tender. Now I need to bathe the lamb into this Masamai curry. 11 minutes, chef. 11 to go. The pan is charring really nicely, and they're ready to go into the blender to get pureed. Ripe plantains are very sweet, so that also is giving it a sweet element for my sweet and smoky. Good flavor on that. So I want to introduce plantains two ways. The first thing is going to be a plantain cake. The older sweet plantains, I put them in a food processor. I dredge them in cornstarch, salt, and flour to basically make like a fritter batter. Plantain flapjacks in the tamagoyaki pan, let's go! And you know, it textures everything. I take the young plantains, I slice them really thin. Chip, chef? Chip. We're gonna do a cake and a chip. Time. Six. What is this plantain going to do? Is, I'm gonna slice it and fry it. So I shave that unripe plantain nice and thin and get that frying so it's nice and crispy. Two minutes, two to go! We're getting to plating. I get that pineapple plantain puree on the bottom of the plate. Add in some of that lamb fat rice and then top it off with that seared lamb patty. I really hope the judges understand the concept that I was trying to go in. You know, hopefully I prevail. One minute, one to go, chefs. One minute. Be careful, chef, please. I want to play beautifully here against May. First thing, I put down the plantain cake. Next, I'm ladling in the curry. 30 seconds. There's so much on the line for me. I've been in this game for five years and never have won. I'm trying to get to the final four, trying to best one of the chefs that I respect the most. Four, three, 